Yeah, let's just pull up uh, telecom stocks for a bit. Uh, I mean, they're doing well. 3% uh, on Bharti. Idea has got a bit of gains. Uh, Arcom is up. Uh, I mean, they sold off quite a bit recently after the DOT order uh, banning intra circle 3G roaming. Uh, the TD Sat has now come and said, basically put down that order. The next, of course, level of appealing uh, is the Supreme Court. Uh, let's get in Prashant Singhal, telecom industry leader at uh, Ernst & Young, to talk about this and more. Uh, thanks very much, Mr. Singhal. Good morning. Great to have you with us here. Prashant, this side. Uh, morning, morning, Prashant. Uh, were you surprised by, I mean, I know uh, we, we want to talk about industry, but uh, markets treated, I mean, secondary markets treated the DOT ban uh, pretty seriously. Although 3G, overall 3G revenues as a percentage percentage of the total revenue is for large incumbents is, I mean, what, 2%, 3% or so. What is the significance of this entire 3G roaming business uh, to the fortunes of large incumbents? Yeah, so, so you're right. I mean, the current revenues which are there from 3G uh, on, on the whole are not, uh, not substantial. And, and we are just about nine months of uh, 3G uh, uh, or uh, maybe six months when, when Pan India 3G has been rolled out. But uh, the future growth in this sector is really driven by how the, uh, the data market uh, takes off. And it is expected that you know, by two, 2015, 2020, we should, we should be close to about 150 to 300 million subscribers on 3G. And a large part of it is going to come only through, uh, through 3G. Now, it, with a fractured mandate, which came uh, as a part of this uh, 3G auction, where none of the operators uh, got the mandate or got the spectrum for the entire country unless the the operators uh, do this intra circle roaming arrangements they will not be offering services in the circles where they don't have the spectrum and that obviously means that uh, it would restrict the 3G market for each of the operators so an operator a and and let's let's assume Vodafone who's got spectrum in A circle but doesn't have it in B circle, then it would affect them first to have direct sales of 3G in the B circle. And in, in the A circle, their, their customers would be restricted because when they, when they actually go to B circle, they will not be able to uh, use 3G services and they'll have to take another number for the B circle. So clearly, you know, this is, this is by in large going to have an impact if this is banned. And, uh, you know, at the time of the auction itself and in the pre-bid conference, this was one of the critical questions which was raised by, uh, by the operators and by the uh, analysts. And, uh, you, know, you know, the DOT at that time did not indicate that this is illegal. And that, that's the way people have gone and bid for the spectrum. So at this stage, if you come back and say it is illegal, I think it's going to have an impact going forward on the revenue growth uh, and the overall adaption of uh, 3G in this market. Mm. NDTV's Cricket App. Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com/apps.